Hello everyone and welcome to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in KSP 1.2.2. In this episode what I'm going to talk about is relevant to any version of KSP that is Kerbal Constructs compatible. So it doesn't have to be Realism Overhaul or anything like that. But basically I want to talk about adding cities to Kerbal Space Program. Something that I think might be generally interesting. Uh, of course here with Kerbal Constructs Thanks to real KSC, I already have these extra little launch pads and also the shuttle landing facility over where the noise, nose is pointing right now. But if we go fully around, you might be able to see the vestiges of a town up ahead. And first we've got Titusville, though on the horizon you might also see some hints of buildings. And basically, I was looking into making city models in Blender, and it turns out it's a lot easier than you might think it is because there is a plugin to import OpenStreetMap information in Blender. So you can get the real buildings at a location uh, and the information of where they're placed and their general shape. It's not exact, and of course, it doesn't have textures, but it's better than nothing. And it's certainly better than trying to make each model by hand and hoping for the best. But here we have uh, a little r bit of Titusville, which is a town close to the KSC. And actually this is four models. Uh, they're just uh, side by side. It's actually the same model repeated, but I put it next to each other. No textures you'll notice, and I'll talk more about that. But basically the same model rotated and slightly resized but not so you'd notice too much. But each model is one of the, the squares, basically. And it's not that, because they're basically just blocks, it's not that many polys. And so the model, actually, let me throw all down here. So the models don't take up much space. It's like 50 kilobytes for uh, that town, uh, and then repeated by, by four, but the re repetition doesn't matter as far as RAM usage. Now there's no texture right now, but the textures aren't going to be more than maybe half a megabyte for uh, that town look right there. Uh, we're head over to Orlando, which is a little bit more substantial. I tried to add textures, but interestingly enough, what I discovered accidentally because I was being careless, I was just bringing the DAE files directly from Blender without going through Unity. and. To my surprise, it actually loaded up with Kerbal Constructs. Kerbal Constructs allowed me to place these city blocks, if you will, um, without it being uh, imported through Unity. So you didn't have to create the .mu file, in other words. Uh, it's just a DAE file in here right now. The downside is that the DAE, fi DAE file doesn't load up the textures with it when you try and do it like that. You have to import it through Unity in order to get the textures. So that's one reason why these aren't textured. The other is it's really hard to make the textures. Uh, getting the models in is very easy now thanks to that OpenStreetMap plugin, but doing the textures is a pain in the rear end, as you might imagine. Uh, so that's going to take a little bit more time. I just uh, made a texture with uh, basic colors on each side, so it's not, it's not all the same color building basically but I didn't make like fancy textures with windows or anything like that so it, there's a lot of work to be done but it is a nice little uh, break in the scenery to have these buildings even though they're all gray right now and especially nice to see them on the horizon actually uh, you know what the town isn't rendering right now the town's render distance, I think, is 25 kilometers. For Orlando's buildings, it's 100 kilometers. I should mention that I actually scaled them up uh, so that they'll be more visible. Uh, otherwise, uh, I think the open street map height assigned to them is one quarter of what it is here. So they're uh, four times the actual size of these buildings. But since we're normally flying high and fast, in Kerbal Space Program. I think scaling it up probably helps. So this is an idea and I'll continue to work on it. Uh, it's relatively plain painless to bring the information into Blender and the only thing is um, first of all not all the buildings in Blender will have height to them so for a lot of these buildings I had to extrude them in order to give them height 
the bigger ones had a height assigned to them and they were proper proper cubes or whatever you want, uh, 3D models, if you will. But the others uh, came in as planes instead of as 3D models. So I uh, had to go in and give them an extrusion to make sure they popped out. Roads are another issue. But before I mess around too much with it, I'll just get the textures in through through Unity and see how that looks. And I, I don't know if it's really necessary to do really high detail texturing on these. I'll have to see. I would rather work on airports, really. And in this particular install, this is my aerospace install. And in this particular install, we have real runway. It's not this one over here, which is sort of situated where Orlando International is, or Orlando Executive, I forget which. But uh, this is just part of the real solar system textures for the planet. There are real airport statics that are available with Kerbal Constructs that I've placed around. And you might have seen them in previous case uh, Kerbal Aerospace videos. Um, I've got one here at Norfolk. I've got one here at JFK International, here in Detroit, and uh, also here in, uh, that's Edwards Air Force Base, and then Moffett Field. So I've been placing, and I've got Heathrow as well. So yeah, I've been placing little airports, but those airports, uh, you have to place the runway separately from the tower, separately from, you know, each piece is separate. It would be nice to plop uh, just a standard two runway airport down all in one piece. You know, runway, tower, and everything like that. The problem is, I don't know if uh, it'll be easy to get a collider like that. It might be that you have to do them in separate pieces, otherwise the collider won't work. And you sort of need the plane to properly collide with the runway. Uh, when I say collide, I mean just be, you know, have something between them so that the plane doesn't go through the runway. So yeah, these are things I'm working on. And from a distance, these buildings do all right for that job. When you get close, it's not so good. Um, I told Kerbal Constructs to put a collider on the buildings, but I don't think it works. I And of course, with the whole need for convex colliders, I don't see how Kerbal Constructs could easily make a collider on the buildings. So I think we just go through them. This is just for scientific purposes. In fact, I won't go straight in, I'll just have my wing clip. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, I'm not doing a very good job of trying to... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no, oh no. I'm stalling, I'm stalling, I'm stalling, I'm stalling, I'm stalling. Uh, uh. Oops. I was going pretty fast for a stall, but then I was turning pretty hard. Anyway, so... People ask whether it was possible to have cities in Kerbal Space Program, so I just decided to do a short video and say, well, it's a thing to work on. And it is not impossible. You might have seen in my Dnieper video the mound, the silo that I made for that particular rocket. And I'm looking forward to using Kerbal Constructs for more of this sort of thing. Uh, it's, it's a powerful tool, Kerbal Constructs. It can be used to really do some impressive things with uh, Kerbal Space Program. And uh, yeah, well, we'll see. Textures, though, they're pain in the rear end. Anyway, on that note, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.